Hi, this is Dr. Vic. The right way to use flax seeds. Very important topic. And I'll be sharing my own experiences, what I have seen, how we can use flax seeds to get the best benefits out from that. Plus, what are the contraindications of using flax seeds? First, let's start with the contraindications. If you are having thyroid, better to avoid the use of flax seeds. If you are allergic to flax seeds, if you are having gas, bloating after the use of flax seeds, then avoid them. Pregnant women should also avoid either concern with your doctor before use of the flax seeds. Plus, if you are using the flax seed oil, don't heat it. These are the contraindications. Now about the dose. The dose of flax seed should be started from half teaspoon. Start using half teaspoon and if you are comfortable with it, use it for 5-7 days. If you are feeling that you are good with that, then you can increase the dose up to one teaspoon. Half teaspoon in the morning, half teaspoon in the evening. This is what I am talking about. So if you want to increase, you can increase to one teaspoon in the morning, one teaspoon in the evening. In this way, gradually you can increase. How much to increase? Not more than two tablespoons. It is more than enough. Now, let's see what are the content in the flax seeds. Flax seeds in one tablespoon, it has 55 calories, 4.2 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbohydrates, 2.8 grams of fiber, 2 grams of protein. So this is an wholesome idea. Plus it has 60 to 80 percent of soluble fibers plus 20 to 40 percent of unsoluble fibers. These fibers are very important. All of these fibers. This helps us in constipation. It helps to clean our gut to clean our intestine and according to the Ayurveda if your gut is healthy your intestine your stomach is healthy 70% you are healthy because maximum of the problem they start from the issues that we have in our gut so in this flex seeds help they work as in laxative also now the right way and the right season to use flex seeds the best season to use flex seeds it is winters Yes, you can use them in the summers also, but you have to decrease the dose which you are taking in the winters to half. For example, in winters, if you are taking one teaspoon two times in a day, then you have to use half teaspoon two times in a day or just half teaspoon once. It differs from person to person and the place also. In general, the winters are the best season to consume flax seeds. Now, how to consume them? Actually, flax seeds have phytic acid in it. So we have to destroy this acid because it's not good for human health. So this acid can be easily destroyed by just sprouting the flax seeds. Just soak them for a night and then tie them in a cloth. That's all, they will be sprouted. Either whichever method suits you. So sprout them and this in turn will increase a bit of protein and will remove the phytic acid from the flax seeds. Another way is just by roasting the flax seeds. If you'll just dry roast them, that's enough. And there will be the destruction of the phytic acid and then they're happy to go, you can use them. I will recommend to use flax seed in the powder form. Just after roasting, make the powder and start using it. You can keep it in a container, an airtight container inside the refrigerator, but don't keep it more than five to 10 days. 10 days, more than enough. After this, you have to make the flax seeds powder again. But as fresh it is, that much better. So the maximum storage should be for 10 days, not more than that. Plus, don't just consume flax seeds. Always consume them with any kind of fat. For example, milk. There also you have fat. Put it in your food or any other way how you like. But always use it with any kind of fat fat then only you will get the best results out of flax seeds also a very important point is to drink lots of water while you are consuming flax seeds because flax seeds absorb water and they swell that's why they help in digestion also while you are using the powder anyways it will absorb more water so you have to drink a bit more water than usual if you are taking flax seeds then only it will help you in the constipation in the digestion now many people think that flax seeds are not good for cholesterol they are not good for estrogen actually if a female takes in the first half of the menstrual cycle it 
actually balances the estrogen. If estrogen is less, it will be balanced. If it's high, then use of flaxseed will balance it. This is how the natural stuffs work. And it will not increase the cholesterol, but will give the negative effects that it will balance the cholesterol. It will decrease your cholesterol. It's not so if you have decreased cholesterol, then using flaxseed is going to decrease it more. No, it's not in this way. It just balances your cholesterol levels. So flex seeds are good if you're having higher cholesterol also. In the bones health, if you are having issues with the bones, with the joints, this also flex seeds helps a lot. Menstrual problems, cramps, PMS, in all these problems, flex seeds help. Plus yes, using them, consuming them, it's gonna give you very good effects on your skin also. You will see good changes in your skin, Plus, yes, diet is very important. Not only using the flex seeds is going to help you and it will decrease your appetite also. If you have uncontrolled appetite or you don't know where to stop, in this also flex seeds can help you. So this is how flex seeds can be used. I hope this information will be helpful for you. Smile more, stay happy, stay healthy.